Hey guys, welcome to VDC Academy. And here in this section, we are going to deal with an example. So, if cos alpha is equal to three by five and cos beta is equal to five by thirteen, and alpha comma beta is less than ninety degrees, then prove that sine square alpha minus beta divided by two is equal to one by sixty-five. So first, let us consider the given information. That is, cos alpha is equal to three by five. And cos beta is equal to five by thirteen. And then we are given that alpha comma beta is less than ninety degrees. So here we can say that alpha comma beta belongs to quadrant one. So here we know the value of cos alpha. And now let us find the value for sine alpha by using the definition of cos alpha. In order to find the value of sine alpha, let us consider a right angle triangle. And then, according to the cos alpha, which is equal to adjacent side by hypotenuse side. So here, by assuming this angle as alpha, and then this side will become the adjacent side, that is three. And here, this side is the hypotenuse side, so we get here five. And now we have to find the opposite side. So let us assume p as the opposite side. So now let us find the value of p by using Pythagoras theorem, that is hypotenuse square, which is five square, is equal to Opposite square, which is p square, plus adjacent square, which is three square. So that implies we get here p square is equal to five square, that is twenty five minus three square, which is nine. So here we get p equal to under root twenty five minus nine, which is sixteen, which is equal to four. So here four is the value of the adjacent side, and now let us find the value of sine alpha according to its definition, that is opposite side, which is four divided by hypotenuse side, that is five. So here we get four by five as the value of sine alpha, and now let us find the value of sine beta by using the value of cos beta. So now let us consider a right angle triangle again. So according to the definition of cos beta, which is adjacent side, so here we get five. And the hypotenuse side, which is thirteen, so here we get thirteen, and this angle will be beta. So by using Pythagoras theorem, let us find the value of Q, which is opposite side. So here we get Q square is equal to thirteen square minus five square, which is equal to thirteen square, that is one sixty nine minus twenty five. So here we get Q equal to under root one sixty nine minus twenty five, which is one forty four, and square root of one forty four is twelve. So here we get Q equal to twelve. That is nothing but the opposite side. And now let us find the value of sine beta, which is equal to opposite side twelve divided by the hypotenuse side thirteen. And now let us name the value of sine alpha as equation one and the value of sine beta as equation two. And now let us find the value of cos alpha minus beta, which is equal to cos alpha cos beta plus sine alpha into sine beta. And here, by using equation one and two and substituting the values of cos alpha and cos beta, we get the value of cos alpha, which is given as three by five, into the value of cos beta, which is given as five by thirteen, plus the value of sine alpha by using equation one, which is four by five, into the value of sine beta by using equation two, which is twelve by thirteen. So here, by multiplying, we get. Three into five, which is fifteen, divided by five into thirteen, which is sixty-five, plus four into twelve, which is forty-eight, divided by five into thirteen, which is sixty-five. So here we have common denominators. So we get in the numerator fifteen plus forty-eight, which is sixty-three, divided by the common denominator sixty-five. So sixty-three by sixty-five is the value of cos alpha minus beta. So now let us name this equation as equation three. And now, in order to prove the value of sine square alpha minus beta by two is equal to one by sixty-five, so let us consider LHS side. So sine square alpha minus beta divided by two is in the form of sine square e. So let us use the formula of sine square e, which is equal to one minus cos two e by two. So here, by using this formula. And now let us substitute the value of a is equal to alpha minus beta divided by two in the formula. So by substituting, we get sine square alpha minus beta divided by two is equal to one minus cos two into the value of a, which is alpha minus beta divided by two whole divided by two. 
and here both the twos gets cancelled and we get one minus cos alpha minus beta divided by two. So here by using equation three, which is nothing but the value of cos alpha minus beta. So let us substitute the value of cos alpha minus beta here. So we get one minus sixty three by sixty five divided by two. So here we get sixty five minus sixty three divided by sixty five into the reciprocal of the denominator two, which is one by two. So that implies here by subtracting we get two by sixty five into one by two, and then two in the denominator and two in the numerator gets cancelled, and we get here one by sixty five as the value of sine square alpha minus beta divided by two. So at last we can conclude this by saying sine square alpha minus beta divided by two is equal to one by sixty five. So hence we proved the example. And make a note of the formula that is sine square a is equal to one minus cos two a divided by two. So this was a basic introduction on how to solve such examples by using the formulas of multiple angles. Hope you understood the concept. Refer to more videos on our website vdchacademy dot com. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.